guys this is Arlene um, with a video for I Am Roses. I'm here today to share <clears throat> a project that I worked on for my friend Pam over at Pocono Pam on YouTube and her and her hubby Ruckus um, as you know have a show that they host on Pam's channel. It's called Table Scraps. It's like hecka funny you guys. Um, hilarious good entertainment I love just grabbing my cup of coffee and watching them in the morning so um anyways um, I told Pam that I was gonna send her some goodies and I wanted to send her something homemade or handmade by me I made her a little banner for her show and it says table scraps and um, let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit hoping you guys can see this but this one is the one that says table and I used so my use AccuCut banner die and it comes with this shape and it also comes with the triangle shape and it also comes with um, a die so that you can layer on top of it so I actually cut it out in canvas as you can tell it's canvas I didn't um, distress the back but it's canvas and it's actually this piece right here is it's a long piece like this and it folds over so you can actually stick rope like through it and then adhere it down together but what I did is I adhered each one individually and then I just connected each one with some <clears throat> some twine but um so I adhered the canvas down together and then I um, let's see did I paint it no I didn't paint it I actually just sprayed it um, and I sprayed it with my and this is like the third bottle I've used this is my favorite it's the dark chocolate truffle starburst stain and look it's like gone I think it's like a few drops left in there but um, I used that and then I edged it with um, my espresso espresso dauber by Ranger um, so the edges have paint on it to kind of stop the fraying but it'll fray just a little bit but that's okay because it's supposed to look a little distressed so again this is the one that says table okay so let me show you a little bit about what I did on each one um, so let me go ahead and start with this one so I cut out the banner in canvas I stained it with my a dark chocolate truffle starburst stain edged it with espresso dauber paint and then I punched some holes with my crocodile on each side and then I put some extra large eyelets through there now the letters are grunge board we all know Pam's favorite 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 scrapper is Tim Holtz I don't mean who's who who's isn't right Tim Holtz is like everybody's fave I mean he's my fave I love Tim Holtz um, but so I use grunge board on all the letters and what I did is I first painted them with ivory white paint and then I went over that with the folk art this is my favorite color too it's the folk art metallic champagne and so it's like really glimmery I love it and then um, so what I did is I matted it the letters on top of um, brown card stock that I cut out with my spellbinders um, large ovals nestabilities and then I used the circle nestabilities over that and then I put the letter on top these are the gorgeous gorgeous butterflies available uh, on Carla's Etsy and I'll put her Etsy down below so you can check it out love her butterflies you guys and I told her I was going to incorporate it into my next project and I did <laughs> um, this flower here so let me tell you that these are all I am roses flowers that you'll find on here this particular flower right here is this one I love these and I colored it with again my acrylic paints and this particular one I think I use this one here um, I used the metallic antique copper and I used Rena's technique where I just added a little bit of water and then I painted it um, and then these roses uh, the code is R21-635 and then on either side of that I put some cherry blossoms and they're just the white ones and these are S3152 okay and then these leaves right here you'll see um, that I use this throughout here as well and it came in a pack of 500 I believe there are 500 in here and this is 20-0 is the code on these and these are just the rose um, rose leaves and they're the perfect size love those okay and then on the middle letters so that's on the edge I pretty much did the same but on the middle letters I use my curly petals and they look like this and I've shown these on hauls before all they are just petals so you can build your own flower and they already come all curly and the code for this is GP2-79. Okay, so I layered two of those petals down. And in the center, I placed a little rose, which is R8-15. Those gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 
okay and then right here I love these can you guys see that these are the crocheted flowers available on IamRoses.com and it comes in a pack of 50 and it also comes in a mixed pack with different colors love this and then on the center of that I actually placed a Christazi um, bling and let me grab it so you guys know what that looks and like. I picked this up at my local Michaels but sorry for the glare this is what it looks like and I love these Christazi blings because they are so um, shimmery. And these can go on sale. Um, I think they go for like two for five for like a pack or something at Michael's. Okay, so that's what I used in the center of my crocheted, um, my crocheted flowers. Okay, so that's pretty much how the middle um, letters go. So this says table. This one over here, I used a different flower. Um, for this one, I ended up using the gardenia. These are the ones that I use, the gardenias, and these are like the medium-sized gardenias, and the code for this is GB3-153. Okay, so that's this one right here. And I painted it again with the, um, the metallic acrylic in antique copper. You guys can see that, the folk art. And then here's another one of Carla's butterflies. Okay, so that says table. And... And I figure when she hangs it, she can hang it on top of each other. So it says table and then scraps below it. But here's the scraps. So let me just show you guys. Scraps. Okay. And it's the same concept on this one, except I use different flowers on, on the scraps. Um, big array of flowers. So this one here are my favorites. These are the R77 flowers and they're the two inch roses and they're just gorgeous. They're perfect. Every single last one of them. R77-15. And um, with this I use the champagne, um, same color that I used on the um, on the letter, the metallic champagne to color that. And I just love, love, love how that came out. So pretty. But actually, no, this isn't the metallic champagne. I'm sorry. It's this one here. Metallic Sahara Gold. This is the champagne one on the other on the other S at the end. If you guys can see, I don't know if you can see the glimmer, but it's gorgeous. I love Rena's technique. And then these flowers here on the sides, if you guys can see those, they're so pretty. I love them. They're two toned. They're dark in the middle, and then they get lighter on the edge. Those are these ones here. As you can tell, I've used them quite a bit. These are R3-809. Okay, and then again, see Carla's butterflies, and then I did the same thing for the inner letters here, um, with the curly petals, the rose in the middle, the um, crocheted flowers, and the Christazi bling in the center. Okay, so that is my banner project with lots of I Am Roses goodies on it um, for Pocono Pam and Ruckus. And um, I just want to say thanks to Pam and Ruckus for um, all they do. It's not easy putting together a video, and they do it so well. I love it. Um, I love watching them, and I'm sure a lot of you do too, and, and have told you how much you appreciate them. But I just wanted to show her um, how much I do, and so I made her this little banner. So hope you like it, Pam. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.